Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these little resin trees. And if you've been here for a hot minute, they probably look suspiciously familiar because I showed you how to make the exact same trees with the exact same mold a couple years ago. I will link to that project down below. In that project, we did make successful trees. They were fabulous. I use them all the time, but they only really worked with these trees, the flat sided ones, these molds. Also, make these trees, <laughs> which have adorable little flared out branches, more like a balsamic fir. And so when it came to these trees in the original video, they did not really work. I didn't really show you them too closely at the end um, because while a few looked okay, I I'll show you a close up when we get outside for the actual resin but they just had bubbles, bubbles, bubbles everywhere, which means every single tip, all the branches was just, like it might be okay on camera, but in person they looked janky. So we're going to be pouring them again today with a deep pour resin to see if a deep pour resin that is better at releasing those bubbles is going to help. Obviously something like a pressure pot would be ideal, but I don't have one. so. We're going to try deep pour resin in this mold and see what we get. All right, y'all. So because this is a thicker mold and we want no bubbles all the way through, we are actually going to use our dun -dun -dun -dun, thick set epoxy. So this is a three to one mixing ratio instead of a one to one. It means we are going to use three parts of A to every one part of A. B. This is from Total Boat. I've used it in my uh, resin class a couple times. Well, a couple times. I've used it a couple times. I showcase it in my resin for beginners course for a beautiful large resin flower um, shadow box that I made for my best friend. So I know I love it and I typically wouldn't use it for a small project, but again, I don't want any bubbles. I want to showcase every single little piece of this project. So the best part of using any kind of resin is a pump because these pumps measure everything out. So even though we know, yeah, that's on the bottom. We need three parts A to one part B. The pumps do that measuring for us. So we know we just need one pump of A to one pump of B. And you can see the different viscosities there. The B, the hardener, is so much more liquid than the A. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix 400 milliliters of resin here. I have a couple projects I want to use this for, and then I will be back. You will notice that I have two containers because the mixing instructions for the thick set say to mix it for three minutes in container A, pour it into container B, and mix for another three minutes. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's get started and I will be right back with all of our mixed resin. All right, so I've got my resin mixed. I've got about 150 milliliters. As you can see, I'm going to be making these adorable little Christmas trees. Now you may have seen me make these on my channel once before. I have done a tablescape with them. I love them, but when I make them with regular resin, can you see the tips of these? The bubbles like destroy the tips. So like down here, there's some good ones. Down here, these are what the, the branches are supposed to be. And then up top, like there's not even a tip. And all of these little holes, that's where bubbles settled into all of the little edges. Now these flat trees, they work fine with regular resin, but it's these bubbly trees that they just get too bubbly. So we are going to see if using a deep pour resin that really helps to eliminate bubbles will make us some really pretty little trees. 
I hope so, because I want to make snow globes with these. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm going to add some iridescent flakes to my resin, and we are going to go ahead and get pouring. Specifically, making sure to pour the bubble trees, because I really want these to work. All right, so I'm going to start with the flakes. I if this works, I'm going to also make some either blush or copper or uh, sea foam. Those are kind of the colors I'm doing for Christmas. But I'm going to start with the clear, with the flakes, because you can really see if those bubbles work or not with the clear. Also, apparently sometime in between this project and my last project, I got a hole in my iridescent flake bag so I'm gonna have to get a new bag for this but let's go ahead mix up our flakes first make sure they're all in here I love these flakes because they're a lot like the rose gold flakes or gold flakes um, that are foiled and that they stay very nicely suspended in your resin as opposed to glitter love glitter but you have to pour glitter kind of in layers or put it in so thick that it pa is packed full it doesn't really stay suspended instead it kind of just all falls to the bottom or the front of your mold so let's go ahead let's pick a nice bubble tree and see how many how much of this it takes now i'm going to try to pour this in a thin stream Okay, now before I keep going, I do like to pour in layers. I'm gonna pick this baby up. You can see some bubbles in there, but not too many. I'm gonna massage it, make sure it's in all the cracks and crevices. And I'm going to pop those bubbles. The nice part about clear silicone is you can heat it from the side as well. Honestly, in the winter when I'm pouring in the cold, I will set my heat gun up and I will heat my resin as I go. All right, let's keep on trucking. All right, so instead of continuing to pour that particular piece I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour the tops of all my trees and then pop all those bubbles and then come back so let's just go in a circle I think that will also help with the bubbles now this thick set resin takes a little longer to set up which is perfect because that is what also helps eliminate your bubbles is they will just keep continuing to rise and not getting stuck down inside. So I am really hoping, you can see as I'm massaging it there, did you see those big bubbles coming up? I hope you saw that. Course, the hardest part is that without we could let this cure for 24 hours and then do a true second layer since we're going to be pouring right onto this as we massage those further layers we could really just be introducing bubbles to the bottom again so I'm not sure that I'm gonna massage every layer we'll have to see Maybe we'll do one massaging and one not and see if it makes a difference more than the tip. It's half the tree. Right. These do have little X's that they stand on, but y'all, they're so flimsy. I just 
find it best to put them in a container like this pie safe, pie safe, pie dish where you can kind of support them on all sides. Don't fall over, little guy. It's just hard when you take the bigger ones out. Alright, so let's... I'm gonna squeeze down here a bit and see if we get any bubbles. Yep, see those bubbles coming up? Those were in all the edges. anymore so I'm not sure if there's really that many bubbles in the edges or if squeezing and massaging is creating more bubbles I think we will not massage these this side we will massage this side and then we'll, we'll do a little experiment. So right is no massage, left is yes massage. Oh, nope. Got squeeze. There we go. any more bubbles come to the top as they're rising they are kind of going away so that's good that's what we want just gonna keep pouring in a circle resin in here.
really massage them once they're so full, you would just squeeze the resin out. So that'd be bad. The rose gold flakes are a little heavier. They do stay suspended better than these, but I've never had a problem with these. Fill this little guy up. Make sure to fill the bubble ones up. You can always mix more resin, like that's not a problem. There we go. Well, that'll give these lots of time to set. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix like maybe a hundred more milliliters of resin. That might be a little overkill, maybe 75. Let's see, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got a bit more resin here all mixed up. I'm going to pour it on this side. I've not really used these iridescent flakes in this thick set resin, so I'll be interesting to see how they behave because I am noticing that on the ones that are full over here, the flakes are settling a little bit more than I would expect them to. terrible but it's definitely not what I was going for thought I made too much but apparently not these these big trees do take a little bit more than you think they will it's all right that's why we did it that's why we made it very carefully bring this inside to cure. Oh, that's too much. I'm going to take some of that out. If you pour too much before it settles or comes off, just take a little bit of paper towel and let it soak in a smidge. And then remove it and just keep doing that until you have a better amount. Don't push it over the edge. I'll do it one more time and I think we'll be good. Definitely not getting a lot of bubbles on these that have been sitting. Hopefully, hopefully that bodes well for down inside the little branches. I'm going to watch these in probably every five, 10 minutes for a while. Just go over them with the heat gun. That way any bubbles that have risen to the top will be popped, but the thick set will take a while to fully cure and the bubbles will keep rising in the meantime. And then they will, they take five to seven days to fully cure, but we can unmold them after about 24, 48 hours. So I will be back once they are hard enough to unmold and we will, we will know once and for all. Bubblicious or not bubblicious? Cross your fingers, y'all. I really hope these turn out good because I'd like to have both trees in my snow globes and not just the, the straight ones. See you later. All right, y'all. Moment of truth. 
how do these look? So we're just going to unmold them and take a look. They look pretty crystal clear from the bottom. Oh, that's pretty. All the flakes are at the bottom. They did not stay suspended hardly at all. That is not normal. I have done whole projects with these flakes. They're still pretty. They'll still be really cute in those snow globes I'm going to make. But here's the real test. <sighs> Bubble tree. Did you work or did you fail me? All right. Good on the bottom layer, but it's, it's those top layers that are really... Oh, really a problem, but let's see. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Deep pour resin for the win. Oh, so much better. There are definitely a few, a few, like there's one, there's one, but like two or three as opposed to all of them. So, you know, I'll take that. Probably I'm going to have to sand the bottom of this so it stands straight. Let's do a little one. And then we'll do one of these. Well, let's do this one. All right. So this is the one we massaged. This is the one we did not massage. Let's see if that made a difference. Wait, no, this side we massaged. This side we didn't. I'll watch the video. <laughs> I think we massage these. Oh, that's pretty good too. This entire side is perfect. This side has one, two, three. So, I mean, I'm so excited that this is working. Let's keep them on their respective sides. definitely going to be using deep pour resin for things like these little trees that have all the little pockets. Now, the only thing that would probably be better if I were to do this one step further is the only parts that seem to really be having problems are some of the branches on the very tips. So the best way to eliminate that would probably be to pour these in two layers do the top third where most of the problems are. Let that cure all the bubbles rise to the top and then come back in a couple hours to the next day and pour the second, um, second layer all the way to the top of the mold. All right, we're going to do one of the babies because sometimes the babies, you know, they have smaller cavities, so they have more bubbles. Oh. I just did my resin for beginners course. I do a whole lesson on unmolding difficult silicone pieces. And I unmold in that video, my crown trinket box, which is my most difficult mold. I'll give you all tips, but these trees might be second place. That is pretty good. All right. So let's you see the difference in all of these bubbles here? There's actual tears on this one. So there's definitely more bubbles on the small one. I can see like here was one. The top's all good. Here, here, it's three or four right in this realm. But that's way better than the entire tree. I'll take it. I will take it. These are usable. Slight imperfections. Usable. Entire tree missing branches. These are not usable. Oh. So happy. I was so worried that even this wasn't going to work. And you know, number one rule of resin. Resin does what it wants. You can... Take all the precautions you know how to take, but at the end of the day, 
Okay, so this one we massage the most and it has the most bubbles. So I would say don't massage them. If you can, pour in two layers. And the deep pour resin is going to help eliminate those bubbles. The ones that we just poured the deep pour resin, because we did, we massaged this little one. The ones where we just poured the deep pour resin seem to work the best. give you guys a close-up of all of these and then I will link to the video below where I make them into snow globes so excited they're gonna be so pretty all right y'all see you in a minute all right y'all I love how these turned out you can see I have used them in my Christmas decor so I have a few on my three-tier tray, and then I've used them in my metal containers and cloches for a snow globe effect. So if you want to check those out, I will leave a link below. I have a whole video on how to put the snow globes together and how to make them. It's a very simple process, literally very simple. But either way, I hope you liked this project. Um, it was a little strange doing the same project as I've done a few years ago, but you live, you learn, you do better. And this time it worked so much better. I'm very happy with the results. I made sea foam, I made pink, I made the clear ones with the iridescent flakes. They're perfect. I love them. I will see you in the next resin project. I have several more coming up, mostly holiday related. Catch you around. Bye.